You know something? I think it's a damn shame for two smart, beautiful women to be wasting themselves, uh, the, themselves on, 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 a, on a couple of good-for-nothing Spencer men. Spencer? Is, is Mr. Luke here? Ugh, Mr. Luke is coming here to see me, his fiance, not you, Alice. Why don't you go scrub a toilet? Alice, don't you pour one drop of my single malt for that scallywag. Luke Spencer and his recently acquired offspring are the worst kind of freeloaders. If you feel that way, then why offer me a million dollars to stay married to Ethan? Well, you see, I think there may be some hope for that boy with my incentive and your good influence. Hmm? Mr. Luke, come on in. Alice, offspring. radiant as always. Well, thank you very much. How would you like one of those single moths? Oh, bless you, my child. Get Traitor. Edward, what? Brought you a top-of-the-line Cuban. Oh. Enjoy. Stolen from my humidor, no doubt. Tracy, you look like a million bucks. Actually, that would be Maya. I look like a lot more. Mm. Our first Thanksgiving as husband and wife. Exciting. Mm -hmm. It's something to celebrate. Follow me. Alice is getting the cocktails. Right. Oh. May I fix you a plate, Popsicle? Actually, I think I'll skip the arsenic. I don't get it. Well, why don't we go to your room and I'll fill you in. Have you learned nothing of romance? When you care deeply for a woman, when she's the light of your life, never let the opportunity pass to tell her. Where's the cheese? <laughs> you realize we haven't had a chance for romance since Vegas? I worry that we're growing apart. Romance, nothing. This marriage is strictly business. That is not what I agreed to. Oh, yeah. We agreed that we were going to stay married for a year. Then Edward pays us a million dollars tax-free, and we split it 50-50. That doesn't mean we can't enjoy ourselves. Well, I'm having a blast. You are very entertaining. Hey, why aren't we eating dinner? We are waiting for the rest of our guests to arrive, Daddy. I know I'll be sorry that I asked, but who's missing? Just lucky Lulu and Dante. Oh, God, Lucky always tries to fleece me at poker, and Dante is the son of that reprobate Corinthus. Violence and misery follow him around just like cheap cologne. <clears throat> Drop the cigar. Step away from the humidor. I am not too sure Edward would be happy with you stealing his cigars on the heels of his oh-so-generous offer. Maybe I don't want the money anymore. Maybe I want to stay married to you anyway. Or maybe you'll say anything for me to have sex with you. Okay, why are you playing hard to get? I, I did already get you. <laughs> and how long would you have stuck around without financial incentive? Okay, you Oops. really think I'm that shallow? Yes. Okay, you're right. Mm -hmm. But I um, am very much admire your intelligence, and you have an incredible body. <laughs> Is that your idea of a compliment? Yes, and it's true. <sighs> there is so much to plan for a wedding. Corporate takeovers are easier. Whatever you want, sweetheart. Translation, you don't care. I do care. I care about your happiness. Isn't that enough? And while we're on the subject, I want you to keep the next four Mondays free for dance lessons. Dance lessons? Oh, come on. I can Viennese waltz with the best of them. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Argentine tango, the dance of love. Uh, if that's the one that ends in tragedy, then it's perfect. No, Daddy. That's the pasa doble. Oh. You, my friend, have three responsibilities. First, you are to pick up the tab. Second, you are to sign the prenup. And third, 
give you a manicure? Buy her a ring, you buffoon. That's how people can tell I'm betrothed. Of course I'll buy you a ring. But I'll do it in my own time and my own way. <laughs> Which means that he hasn't had time to steal one yet. Oh, please. Look who's here. Ah, cowboy. Glad you made it. And you brought the wee bunny lass from Dublin. Oh, what a delightful surprise. Sean, thank you so much for including me in your family gathering. <laughs> I was in danger of feeling homesick. Oh, 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 my dear, you are enchanting. Where'd you find this lovely flower? Oh, I, I picked him up at a bar. Thank you. When I was in the service during the big war, I had a chance to visit the Emerald Isle. It's one of my loveliest memories. <laughs> well, I'm proud to call it home. Oh, why'd you stop? We were finally getting somewhere. We were communicating on a deep, meaningful level. Oh, okay. Well, you know, now's a good time to reflect on what we've learned. I've learned that the marriage is kind of rough. <laughs> yeah, it's good to know you're paying attention. <laughs> Lucky and I became friends in Ireland, and he offered me the chance to visit the States, but in my wildest, I, I would have never imagined this, being a guest at such a place, hosted by a man of your stature. Oh, please. Well, all I can tell you is to uh, keep your hand on your wallet and your eye on Lucky. Now, he may be a police officer, but he is a Spencer, and he's the smoothest of the lot. Don't listen to his blathering, Siobhan. <laughs> the Spencer men are all... Enlightened and entrepreneurial. Yes, Edward is just jealous. See, women are naturally drawn to us because we encourage women to reach their fullest potential. Yes, and that means that the Spencer men are entirely comfortable having their women support them. Suffice mm -hmm. to say, we are the modern-day Robin Hoods. We steal from the rich and give to the poor. And by poor, he, uh, he means himself. <laughs> Have a <enough. laughs> Nice Italian dinner in the city. Sounds like fun right about now, right? I don't know. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Hey, I knocked, but nobody answered. Oh, I'm glad to see you. So, uh, where's your no-good boyfriend? He's not coming. And thank God for small favors. Here, Mr. Luke, I saved these just for you. Oh, Alice, you're too kind. Don't waste those on Luke. Why? People gotta eat. Not a Spencer. Should I be offended? No. You take after your mother. Just just count your blessings. Of course your maids hate Spencer so much. Why are you lining up to marry them? Because, despite all the heartache, being married to a Spencer is more interesting than all of my other marriages put together. She makes an excellent point. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, you what the hell is this? Hey, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Ho, 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 Michael! What a brilliant surprise! Oh, it was Dante's idea. He insisted on it. Oh. So, this is Edward's den. He uh, hides cigars up there. Well, I don't smoke. Me neither. And this is his, uh, his couch. It's pretty comfortable. I thought maybe we could, we could sit on it and uh, we could chat some things. You mean interrogate me in comfort? Are you always as suspicious? Oh, I have brothers. I've been in your shoes more than once. Well, I've seen Lucky's heart get broken more than once. And I know how you guys met. I was in Ireland with you guys. Then you know that Lucky saved my life. Yeah, but you don't really know Lucky very well. And you came all the way to Port Charles with him, and now you're at our Thanksgiving holiday meal. Make your point. I'm just, I'm not really sure where your motivations are. I don't know your backstory. I mean, maybe you're here to get your green card. Please tell me I didn't hear what I just heard. <laughs> We're just all really worried about you, Lucky. Even Dad thinks you might be moving too fast. See, I don't care if your mother is in Manhattan or Timbuktu. You don't really need an excuse to come here, son. Y your family, you're always welcome. Yeah, Dante told me you'd say that. <laughs> you know, you look wonderful. You look strong and healthy after that terrible year. <laughs> uh, where's Monica? She, she took herself off to a spa because holidays are just difficult for her since Alan passed. 
But you know, she's going to be heartbroken that she's not here to see you. See, how's school? Better than prison? Uh, Quartermain in Pentonville. It's an outrage. Uh, I'd still be there if Dante didn't get me out. Well, uh, Dante, as long as Michael says so, I guess you're welcome. Uh, thank you, sir. That's generous of you. As long as you don't revert to type and get someone shot or throw Lulu off for another woman. Because if you do, Alice is going to put you into a double chicken wing and throw you out. With pleasure. You know, you are good. You really are. I'm not the only one being played here. It seems uh, like Edward is fooled as well. No, the only person being played here is me. When Edward made the offer, I was looking forward to spending a year enjoying ourselves. I'm not kidding, Maya. I have feelings, and you have hurt one of them very deeply. Wait, wait a minute. Where did Luke and Tracy go? Give me that. Hey, it doesn't work that way. I'm supposed to give you that on bended knee. Is this Monica's ring? Or have you been going through my mother's jewelry box? Wrong conclusion, Sherlock. You know, there have been a lot of beautiful rings in this house over the years. And I just had to place this one. I got it in Amsterdam. You stole it in Amsterdam? No, I bought it from a jeweler on the Prinzengracht. And one day, when we're bundled up in front of a blazing fire with nothing but our memories, I will tell you the whole story. It's glass, right? No, it's the real thing. An engagement ring from me to you. You want it or not? Oh. I'll try it on. See if it feels right. It fits. Lucky guess. Luck had nothing to do with it. If this is real, I'd say you're doing pretty good. It is real. What do you say? Will you take that leap into the unknown with me? Be my bride. Let me love you forever. Give me that. I think it's real. So Sorry you came. Not yet. Hey, everybody, dinner's here. Pizza. What happened to the turkey? Well, don't look so disappointed. We have goose or roast beef on our body, so I was just looking forward to experiencing turkey. Well, so, so were the quarter mains, dear, but uh, every year the birds seem to get burned to a crisp or, or frozen or on the floor for the dog's dinner. All right, everyone, we've got plates. They started having to order pieces at the last minute, so. So we decided not to mess with trying to roast the bird anymore, and we gave Cook the day off, and we went straight to pizza delivery. And that, boys and girls, is how a tradition is born. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, nice rock. Wow, it's official. You can always change your mind, Mr. Luke. <laughs> Have that ring appraised before you make one promise, daughter. Oh, now, Edward, you don't mean that. <laughs> nice work, mate. <laughs> so, uh, let's eat. No, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. First we sing, and then we eat. Ready? We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He hastens and chastens his will to make known. The wicked oppressing now cease from distressing. Sing praises to his name, he forgets. Me.